Hello again and welcome to my magic garden. You might remember my house when we had a little tour of it at Christmas. Um, well this is the summer house so this is my magic secret garden um, and just to show you what you can create um, in blank canvases so come and have a look. So originally this garden it's solid rock so you ha I had to bring everything in, all the topsoil and I worked with my friend Marie and we planted all of this up on top of solid rock so it can be done. So what we were trying to create was like a magic garden so there's fairies everywhere and there's all sorts of plants totally over planted of course but you've got lots of different walkways that you can walk around and lots of different seating areas that you can sit in and bearing in mind when you buy a house in France like I did an old property like this most of the time is summer so you know it's much warmer than the UK so you spend a lot of time outside in the garden and that's why these areas are really important so come and have a look round So this is my lunchtime area. I have different areas for where the sun is. This is really nice and cool in the day. I got my lanterns from Vietnam, and so I've created a nice little cool shady area for lunch. But you can't eat here in the evening because it's too hot. So we have other areas for the evening and for entertaining. So come and have a look at those. So this is my vegetable patch, um, as you can see we've got tomatoes growing, we've got leeks, we've got strawberries but they've actually got a bit burnt because it's too hot, it's 38 degrees and not a lot is surviving other than the tomatoes this year. This is just a nice little potager area, not too big because there's only me and my friend Marie who comes and helps me with this so we share the veg and eat that all summer. And then if you come over here... This is the kind of chill out area, so when people are here at the, or at the pool or you just want to come and read a book, created sort of a chill out area where you've got nice sofas and chairs and sort of outside dining areas as well. And then I wanted to create a party area, so when you've got all of this land and you don't know what to do with it, you can section off different parts. So where the swimming pool is, is my fun and party area, so we're going to have a look at that. I put down some sand and created a whole beach area. So we've got the pool, we've got an outside dining area with all the fishing lines and things like that. We've got the swimming pool. I created a cabana so that particularly when children are in the pool, the parents can sit in there so they're not too far away from them. And then out of um, our Leggett magazines, we had a whole load of spare pallets. So my friend built a bar for me out of the Leggett magazine pallets. So this is fantastic again. It's great for entertaining. It's away from the house as well. So if people are up a little bit, Bit late <laughs> you can't hear the noise from in the house and, and come and have a look at the cabana so again when you're coming from the pool we've got a little drawbridge that takes you into the cabana And this, again, is so easy to make. It's just a little wood, wooden thing. You don't need planning permission for it. So if you get a house in France and you want to build something like this, it's really easy to do. It's not expensive, but it makes such a difference to the, pro to the property, having a beach, a cabana and a pool. So when I first came here and bought the house, it was in the middle of winter. You know, there was nothing here. And you've really got to have some imagination to live your dream. And my dream was to live in France. And year by year, I've added and added and created new areas and it's such a fun thing to do but what it creates is a sense of community because all my neighbours come down all the parties are always here because I've got the party house as such everyone comes we meet round the bar the children can go and swim in the pool and it really is a, a little piece of paradise when I was looking at the property and looking around I was thinking oh my god this is so much work am I going to be able to do it but anyone can do it you know I'm not really good at DIY so I have to get other people in to help me you know you can do this on a really small budget and recycle lots of materials, lots of recycling plants. You've got to see beyond what it is. When it's looking flat and it's looking derelict or it's in the winter, you've got to imagine what you can create and you really can do it. The lovely thing is like my whole family can come over and enjoy this space as they're doing this summer and the great thing is, you know, we get the fantastic weather so it's a lot longer than it is anywhere else and, you know, from April all the way through till October we'll be enjoying all these wonderful outside areas. We have got loads 
loads of properties on our books um, all over France. So whatever area you're looking for, you will be able to find your dream property. And, you know, look beyond what it is and what it can become. And we've got all different styles for all different budgets. You know, if you've only got 40,000, you can still buy a really pretty home and create a magical garden. If you've got thousands and you want to buy a beautiful chateau and create a Versailles in your garden, everything is possible. And if you can't find what you're looking for, we have a Mandat research team who will go out and find that exact property that you want. So, you know, come and talk to us. We're here to help. You know, if you want to talk about ideas, drop me an email and I'd be happy to help as well. So it is a wonderful life and every, everybody, there's a home for everybody in France, whatever area it's in, whether it's in the Alps or it's in Brittany or it's in the Dordogne like me, um, there is a dream home for everyone. Well, thank you for um, watching and I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my little piece of paradise in France. I'm sure you're going to find your own piece of paradise um, and enjoy this. Now I've got about an hour of watering plants to do, so I best get on.